Hey everyone, Sunwind here. I'm again making a different kind of video. It's not going to be about the Steam Deck. Please let me know if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more content about retro gaming consoles. Now this is the Mini Mini Plus, which I covered in a previous video that you can check out here with this link in the corner. Now the Mini Mini Plus is a retro gaming emulator console in a Game Boy form factor. In this video I want to cover how you can take this little device to the next level by installing a custom firmware code on your NOS. The Mio Mini comes with its own operating system which is pretty straightforward and works right out of the box, but it lacks a lot of features. Onion OS is a community developed operating system that adds a ton of features and quality of life changes to your Mio Mini. The process is fairly simple, so let's jump right in. Now you need to shut down your Mio Mini Plus and remove the SD card. Your Mio Mini should have come with an SD card reader in the box, if not you're gonna need to get one of these. We need to take that SD card and put it in our Windows PC. Having another device preferably with Windows operating system is essential to doing this, but I assume you already own one. Now before we do any OS installing, we need to back up some files that come on the stock Mio Mini SD card. We need the BIOS files and the game ROMs in case you don't already have your own library. Now the Mio Mini stock card is a no-brand card, this means it's super cheap and low quality. Users report that after some weeks of playtime their Mio Minis just refuse to launch and the solution is just to replace the SD card. So to avoid losing all your save files I recommend just getting a new card now and installing only on OS on it. To get the BIOS files on the stock card you need to go to RetroArch folder and then .RetroArch folder and then go to system folder and copy all the contents of that folder somewhere on your hard drive and name it BIOS. To get the raw files from the stock card you need to copy the entire ROMs folder on your hard drive. You need to do this to migrate these files to your new SD card. After you copy everything you can remove the stock SD card and then it to your brand new SD card. After that open up a browser and type on your OS. Open the first link, which I will also put in the description. Now I'm using Windows today, so I'm going to show you how to install Onion OS using their Onion Desktop 2. It's super easy and simple. Download Onion Desktop 2, save it somewhere and extract the folder. Navigate to the extracted folder and launch the file called Onion Desktop 2 launcher.bat. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, please consider leaving it a like. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. Now this will launch the tool. You need to select the option format SD card and install Onion. There will be a couple of prompts to let you know that this SD card's contents will be erased. Now click OK or Yes on each one and another prompt will then pop up asking you to select the OS version. Select Stable and click Download. This will start the process. Now depending on your internet connection this might take a couple of minutes. After this is done, a new pop-up will open. Select Onion and click OK. This will start the installation process. After everything is done, you will see this message in the console. You can then close everything and safely remove the SD card from your PC. We are gonna take the new SD card and insert that onto our Miu Mini Plus and power it on. Now the installation process on the Miu Mini will now begin. This takes around 4 to 5 minutes. After the installation is finished, you will be presented with a tutorial screen for the new operating system. This will provide information on some button shortcuts and after that you can configure what devices you want to emulate or what emulators you want to install. You can choose the ones you want and don't worry, you can edit these later and install more if you want to. After the emulators, you can install various software that the OS supports such as a new feature called Battery Monitor, you should also enable Onion OTA updates as this will allow you to update Onion directly from the Mio Mini, which I will show you how to do in a second. Now after you choose all your devices and apps, you can press start and finish with the installation. Congratulations, now you have Onion OS on your Mio Mini, but you don't have any games. Let's fix that. Power down the Mio Mini Plus and take out the SD card again. Put it back in your PC. Now we need to take the BIOS and ROM files we backed up earlier and transfer them over to the new card. The BIOS goes in the BIOS folder and the ROMs go in the ROMs folder. Now in the ROMs folder you will see folders only for the systems you chose during the installation. 
So if you don't see your system, go back to your menu menu and make sure it's selected. Copy the ROM files here and keep in mind they are separated by device folders. After that you can take out the SD card from your PC, put it back in your Mio Mio Plus and you're done. You can now enjoy your games on Onion OS. Now that you already have Onion OS installed, the time will come to update it when a new version is released. First make sure your Mio Mini Plus is connected to Wi-Fi. Then go to Apps, Onion OTA Update. Press A and start the app. This will now start the process of checking for an update. If an update is found, it will ask you if you want to install it. The installation is very straightforward and the Miu Mini will ask you to confirm your choices a couple of times. It will again ask you to choose between stable and better version, so make sure you select stable. The Miu Mini will then reboot a couple of times and finally greet you to your freshly updated audio OS. That's pretty much it for this video, thank you everyone for watching, stay tuned for more retro gaming console videos, and if you have any issues with audio OS and the Miu Mini Plus, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below.